What's going on YouTube? KOD Foot here bringing you another episode of KOD Foot Talks. Before we get started into it, I hope you checked out Faz's video he put up on Sunday. He's starting a new challenge series. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like a live com face cam challenge series where he's taking challenges from the comments, different members of the clan. He's probably going to post it on Twitter asking for challenges and just using whatever gun game mode game whatever you know he's got all the games from i think world at war up and you challenge him to use a gun in a certain game mode and see how many kills he can get with it i think it's going to be pretty entertaining i think it's going to turn out to be a, a pretty good series and I, i'm glad because you know he's been looking for something that he could put out on the channel for a while he, he always puts out content but it's never been a series so i think this is a series that's going to turn out pretty good i'm happy to, to see it get, you know, rolling off the ground. But let's go ahead and get started into it. Today, I'm talking about Tom Brady, Deflategate, and why he's a cheating little son of a bitch. So let's go ahead and get started into it. So for those of you who don't know, that don't watch sports or anything like that, you probably won't know anything that I'm talking about. But most of the nation, you know, we are red-blooded Americans and we love football. And... Tom Brady and the Patriots have been found guilty of deflating footballs in the 2014 season. Uh, Tom Brady has now been suspended for four games, which is fucking great. I wish it was longer. I wish he was, he was just suspended from the NFL indefinitely. I wish they fucking fire his ass and tell him he can't play no more because he doesn't know how to play fair, apparently. Uh, the Patriots organization has been fined $1 million dollars. Which, also, fuck yeah. But, when you're dealing with multi-billion dollar corporations, a million dollars is like chump change. So, it's not going to hurt them too bad. Uh, but still, it's nice to see that they're actually being held responsible for the action of their players and their staff. And then, they've also lost the first round draft pick of the 2016 season and the fourth round draft pick of the 2017 season. Which is fucking great as well. Like, fuck them. You know? As a Ravens fan, I hate the Patriots. I've hated the Patriots for a long time. And I've always hated Tom Brady. He's a pretty boy, crybaby. He doesn't get his way and he gets up in a, a ref's face and he yells and he screams. And then he talks his way out of it. And I can't stand that shit. Like, you guys are out there playing football. Why are you crying? Why are you being a little bitch? Like, get the fuck over yourself. You're making millions of dollars to play a sport. To play a fucking sport. You're making millions of dollars. And instead of playing it fair, you feel like you need to take an unfair advantage by, you know, what was it back in 2007, 2008, something like that. Um, they got caught recording other coaches. They had somebody in the stands with a video camera taping the other coaches so that they could learn their play calling, learn their hand signals, and then adjust for it. You know, that's cheating. Uh, plain and simple, that's cheating. You, you have an unfair advantage. Nobody else in the NFL had the advantage of, you know, knowing what the other coach was calling based off their hand signals. But the Patriots did. And then now, you know, last year with Deflategate, Tom Brady or somebody, you know, it hasn't been determined 100% that he had something to do with it. But it was determined that he knew about it. They, there is no way in hell that he gripped those balls. <laughs> Giggity. And didn't know that they, they were underinflated. You're allowed to have as low as 12.5 pounds per square inch of air in the ball. And their whole excuse was that the cold air affected it. They, the cold air, at, I believe it was at the Colts. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was at Colts Stadium. That the cold air affected it because you know if you take a say you take a balloon you blow it up you take it outside into the cold and it deflates right but you're telling me that footballs these aren't these aren't you know rubber balloons these are fucking footballs 
you're telling me that with all the insulation that they have and the, the design that they have, and this has never been a problem for any other team before, but just your team's footballs, because Tom Brady likes them at 12.5 pounds per square inch starting, that they were able to under deflate by a pound or more? 13 of 14 of those balls were under deflated, and he had no idea about it. It's because he was playing within the league's rules, and they came out onto the field at 12-5. And it's not their fault if they underinflate more than that. Bullshit. You knew what you were doing. You instructed somebody to, to do it, whether it was Brady, you know, saying something about, oh man, I wish I could use, un you know, d footballs that aren't inflated all the way up to 12-5. Do you know how much easier that would be to catch and how much easier that would be to throw? And then Belichick going and running his mouth to you know the staff and telling them, look, get these balls under deflated. Again, I don't know if Brady told the guys to do it or what. But any way you look at it, it's fucking cheating. And I'm glad that they've been punished. I personally think the punishment should be harsher. I think that if it was any other fucking team, that the punishment would be harsher. I think that if it was any other quarterback, that the punishment would be harsher. But this video is getting ready to wrap up. Leave a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the whole scandal, about the whole situation. And let me know if you think Tom Brady's a bitch, because I do. Fuck him. But until next time, I'm Coyote Foot. Later.